it's again it's nice and early in the UK he's chucking it down with rain kids are asleep so I thought I'd have a little nice relaxing wake up on ultimate fishing simulator Some of you will know I'm into my fishing. Hence the reason for fishing games. This one especially because I've been looking forward to sea fishing. I don't get much sea fishing in fishing games. I've managed to unlock a few different areas now. So I prefer beach fishing, so we go beach fishing. Excuse me while I drink my coffee. <coughs> fishing simulators and stuff like that is just a easy way to wake up with you can enjoy your coffee you can have a little look at your phone do something on the laptop at the same time and at the same time being engrossed in, in what's happening it, it sounds strange it, it sort of hooks you into playing it some more I do think you've got to have a bit of an interest in fishing if I'm honest get the most out of it otherwise it probably get quite boring most people will probably think it's quite boring, that's fine. It's not everyone's cup of tea, get that. So in this game, there's like a, an unlock sort of system where you can get perks. So in the skill area, you can lower the prices. Um, um, casting stronger the ability to use a boat and um, hunter vision which lets you see where the fish are and then it sort of goes up and freeze you know sort of medium and, and then um, sort of 10% 20% 30% that sort of side of things as you can see I've played this for quite a bit apparently I've spent 10 hours and 45 minutes on this game and I've caught 208 fish could have caught 222 so obviously I've lost a few fish as well so back to what we were doing now I've got the wrong rod up because I was, I was float fishing before so I have to change this I think my second was three I think maybe two And people think, why, why float fishing in sea? I thought that too. There's why. But it actually pays in this section of sea. It's very gentle. There's your underwater camera. I'm not actually going to get very far with a maggot because it hasn't changed. So beta automatically wheel in. Start button. I should have clicked to use this set. This time it will change. And then we'll fl see if we can catch anything. But the game has had an update as well. Um, some of the graphics are a little bit less choppy. The frame rate and that sort of side of things. The graphics itself are um, a little bit improved on one or two lakes I actually haven't noticed anything on this um, area to fish but this is totally different it's sea fishing um, the biggest change on this is the uh, time in the top right hand corner the time was just whizzing the cycle of a day in, or in the space of about 45 minutes 
back to Poe. We've got to play so the, You see the bar here, it's... If I'm not careful, I'm going to lose this fish. Fight back. It took quite a lot of line. See what I was doing there was using a left and right D pad to try and use the tightness. Because obviously it's um this is getting away from it at the moment. But now I've let it run around for a bit or swim around if you like for a bit. Let it get tired. Now I'm adjusting tightness of the reel. If you, if you notice the uh, right hand corner, I'll show you. If I go back to how it was, that always starts zero. You've got, uh, you've got much more of a fight because there's no tightness in the line and the fish can pull. But you can gradually increase it. Each different rod has its settings. So I think you start off without with three settings, but this one has a few more. Now this fish isn't going anywhere, but you, if you find that it's going into the red, or the orange and the red, you might have to come down. Now back to up to the top, like this. We're having a good battle with this fish, actually, but... It's obviously quite large. It's always good to catch a fish early on, but like I say, I don't, I don't really mind too much. It takes a little bit. I'm drinking coffee. I've got the phone out in, in terms of I'm keeping up with the gaming community. Do one or two little bits for complete xbox.com on the laptop. Some sort of multitasking. Something that old man doesn't do very well, apparently. Uh, I'm not doing too badly this morning. Those that know what I do at CompleteXbox.com, um, I would generally host a game night on a Thursday tomorrow. Um, the game night is still going ahead, but unfortunately I will not be hosting it. I was actually looking forward to playing the game that we'd arranged. You have to lose this fish if I'm not careful. The game that we arranged... was on golf with your friends. Something that I've actually been looking forward to playing. Certainly with others. I think games like that are always best played with a larger number of people. Also people you know. Because there will be an ad or pause breaks in the game. And then it's good to have the chat flowing. So um got I said turn up regularly. We all have good laugh that we've known each other for years. And then we get one or two from from the um, community, one or two from the website. And then one or two from our community on dis on Twitter too. And it all makes for a good laugh. I'm catching lots of booster fish. But yes, yeah, so I won't be um, joining Thursday, but my good friend Hawk, Hawk guy, his name's John, he'll be hosting me in my place. That said, he's a regular anyway, um, and he's good laugh. The other game that I, the other thing I generally host is a Sunday morning early session. Um, basically, where 
I opened myself up to lots and lots of questions or just general playthrough description of the game and stuff like that of what I'm playing people can join if they wish it's always put out on the website beforehand it goes out on Twitter as well sort of two or three days before what I'm actually going to be playing at what time and then I just spent the morning on a fairly leisurely game nothing too strenuous then I um, chat away on Twitter, Discord or Mixer um, to players that are playing with me um, and just have a leisurely conversation with a nice cup of coffee keep mentioning coffee you that's another one of my loves oh, so we've got a fishing net so we've got we've got a fishing net I've unlocked that you see we will press right bumper and then you move the net and then you trigger it with the right trigger and left trigger and there's our reward so I think the aim is to get to level 13 for me was one of the things that I wanted about this game was the sea fishing and level 13 will provide some spectacular fishing some spectacular opportunity to get some cod in the area known as Greenland yes and go fishing at Greenland for Atlantic cod right by the lighthouse water's nice and shallow crystal clear in this area and that's why it's perfect for float fishing I actually stumbled across the float fishing in this in this section by accident because I was straight away using to normal casting you know, you get the feel of the rod and you, you watch the the um, tip for a bite and, and the feel of the actual controller as well when it vibrates gives you an idea when there's been a, a fish nearby is having a chomp and the other thing is you don't actually get this camera in casting which is sad in some ways I, li I, li I like this camera So you can see this fish really trying to get away and we're letting it at the moment but watching it get tired and now we're going to ramp up the tightness of the line we're going to try and fight back I say try but this this fish is still going but, although we've got to be careful because it's the edge of the line it's tight and this fish is still fighting we're actually reeling back in we've got the better hand of this fish now just got to keep it out of the red so the tension on the rod different angle anyone that's played fishing games they're looking for comparisons in games just ask a question I, I really don't mind any time if you ever watch this video at any point gamer tag eyes the law twitter naked back just ask me a question and I'll be happy to help I've played most of the fishing games in fact I've played them all and Sometimes actually if anyone that follows my Twitter page will know that I post um, sort of fishing adventures online from sort of the Xbox and stuff and yeah, I covered um, Sega Fishing the other day if anyone ever remembers that game with a little fishing rod attachment for the Dreamcast Arcade game. I mean, 
this has a slight arcade feel to it compared but obviously that really is arcade and then I played Rapala fishing as well the new Rapala fishing I played a few of them before but the latest one really has the arcade feel about it oh we're gonna lose this fish we've lost it oh dear Yeah, the latest Rapella fish is a very much an arcade style game. Um, fun using underwater camera pretty much most of, the time, most of the time. And you have to keep the fish in the window just by pulling your control left and right and then pressing a the button to sort of reel the fish in. And you can, if you keep it left or right for the bot you know the fish in the window for a while you can actually press down on the stick and it will sort of really in like a bonus reel and it will bring it in quicker and that's pretty much it i mean there are other elements to the game that i've got to sort of play through but that's pretty much the gist on the um fishing side of things the reeling in but for me You know, if I wanted to do that sort of action, I go back to CFEs. I love CFEs and go left and right and put the fish in that way. And have an arcade feel. I then go and sell my fish on that, you know, and I'd probably just have more fun in CFEs. So, but I'm going to give it some more time. I'm going to try and go against the fish now and try and stop it pulling. It's getting away from us. So gently I've managed to put it up to 40 and now I'm reeling the fish in rather than it getting away but I've got to be careful. It's having a good pull but now I'm I'm, I'm winning the battle. It's tired. So now we can crank it up a little bit more. Don't go too much because obviously we lost the last fish, so be careful. And then the other fishing game that I played that day was um, Fishing Planet, which I highly recommend to anyone that likes fishing um, because of the customization element in that game. It, it really is full of it, it's got loads of detail, different rods, different combos, different areas to fish, it's loads of lakes. The only problem with Fishing Planet is it's a free to play model. Um, it does feel a bit of a grind to get to other lakes, so the other thing is you have to manage your money. So you good logging in each day you get money you get money. But different lakes cost you know they cost some of money, some of them are really expensive so you sort of have to plan your trip a bit like you would in real life plan your trip you know the simple stuff you know so oh, gonna lose this oh, sudden burst of energy in this fish yeah. we got there in the end I mean, I, I've played Euro Fishing, Dovetails Euro Fishing. I actually quite liked Dovetails Euro Fishing. And then it moved on to um, Fishing Sim World, which is on Game Pass. But having played Fishing Planet now, and then Fishing Planet's um, younger brother, or sister, if you like, uh, the fisherman which is basically the same game without the microtransactions, so less of a grind, if you like. A standalone game. You still have to level up. You still have to play some of the lakes, but it all happens a bit quicker. Um, but since I've played that, Fishing Sim World just feels a little bit, dare say, clunky to me. The actions aren't as smooth. Um, it has an element of left and right directions on the line which 
Let's say you don't get in real life is possibly wrong. You you do sort of bend your rod left and pull it right, but you're doing that as more of a feel on the fish. For me, the game feels a little just relies a little bit too much on left and right. And, but I am again, I'm going to give it some more time. I'm also going to do a stream on it because, like I say, I, I think it's good to do. A, a little stream against someone on, on something like that. That I think maybe if I gave it more time, I might grow to like it. It's on Game Pass, so there's no reason I sh shouldn't give it more time. Uh, and there are one or two people that I talk to now and again that actually rate the game. It does have a lot of fishing customization elements to it, but it relies a lot on match fishing. And ranking and bits of pieces, which I suppose for a single player element isn't bad. I mean, they can't all be like me who just like to get out in the lake and just fish and get the enjoyment out of sitting up a cup of coffee. And, and that's that. There's got to be, I suppose, there's got to be an element to um, the game. This, perhaps this is where this game could be improved on. You could have like little competition areas, but this, this game is. It does exactly what it says on the tin if you like it it is a single player fishing game it's just an experience you level up and you go fishing just like you would in the in, you know in the amateur angler would you know, just pat the rods up and drive off to the lake or off to the beach no With this game, as, as you go through the lakes, you'll find that the fish are are bigger in areas as well, and a bit more rewarding in terms of XP and cash. The game is all about cash, and in some ways, you upgrade your rods. A bit like you would in real life. You you know, you have more cash, you buy a better rod. You know, but it's not that's not to say that you can't fish with the basic rods that are given in the game. You can actually. I've only actually changed this rod just now, really. Um, playing offline but fairly recently I've changed the rod pretty much for this section because I found that the, the fish were getting away quite a lot quite easily but this rod gives me a nice challenge because sometimes you get the sudden jolt of a fish because even this look this fish isn't done I thought it was but now we're pulling away but he's tired this fish you can tell it's still giving me that slight fight. I think I'm careful with the tension of the line. We are winning the battle. He says, and we probably end up losing it now. This fish is obviously sizable. It's got some power in it, it's not wanting to give up. There you are, 192 XP. Self 162. We're nearly at level 11. The see there's a few. But that, like I say, this. The underwater camera view for me is just perfect. It, it, it enables me to. Just pick my coffee up, have a coffee. Enables me to quickly look at the laptop. Enables me to, you know, send a quick text message or a tweet out. It's perfect. Also, you don't miss the fish too much. With this view, you, you do find you're having to watch the the circle in the right hand side of the screen that shows the the float. It does work well. You have to watch it. You, you, you have to watch it on Fishing Planet. It, you don't have an underwater camera. But the visuals are slightly better. On Fishing Planet. So I'll pick up Fishing Planet. That's fine. But 
this fishing plant doesn't give you sea fishing. It doesn't give you an all round um, game. It is a perfect um, sort of simulation of fresh water sort of fishing. You can go to tournaments and bits and pieces, and there's a multiplayer element of it as, as well. But it, it has a leveling up system. Let's say I'm already at level 10 in the game. I think there's um, level 13 unlocks all the the fishing areas um, and there's no way on fishing planet that i would have experienced all areas i haven't i'm only level 19 on fishing planet and then um, in some ways i only just scratched the surface of fishing planet but i know i'm never going to get to the likes of level 60 so i'm never going to experience some of the lakes that i perhaps want to on fishing planet without paying which is no way i'm doing this fish is going to get away from us, it's pulling away too much. Yes. I'm going to run out of line. If I don't start, let's see. Slowly. Fish. I wouldn't say under control, but it's coming in. Well, the attention of the rod is only 20. Now we'll crank it out to 40. I need to be careful because it's giving me good battle. Yeah, it would be. So I, I know that if I spend a little bit of time on it, like I'm 10 hours into the game, you know, and I've nearly unlocked all the fishing areas, I can go fishing any time I want in any lake. I'd, have owned, I'd own all the licenses for the area the, to, to go fishing there. With fishing plants, it's never going to happen. And even the fishermen, that'll take you some time to get there. I wish I'd discovered the fishman a little bit earlier, in, or, or I wish it was released a little bit earlier in the Xbox um, One's life cycle, because obviously we're coming to the end of the journey. It'd be interesting to see if Fishing Planet just carries over to the next Xbox. It's also on PlayStation, if you're watching this. It'd be interesting to see if it carries over to the next gen. There's no reason it shouldn't. It's on. It's on PC, you know, it's where the game originated. So um, there really is no reason it shouldn't. I would assume things like World of Tanks and stuff like that will carry over. So um, there's no reason it shouldn't. You always get a nice sunset as well in this game. Around about this time. Be interesting to see at Ag Greenland what the daylight cycle is like. Torch out, right stick click on that if you want the struggling to see. I know the daylight sort of changes and stuff like that, just like it would in real life, affects how close the fish come.
See, for me, there's, I wouldn't say there's no way you can't go sea fishing with a, a float, but the, so, let's say, I wouldn't say there's no way you can't go sea fishing with a, a float, especially if you're only chucking it out a little distance and then the fish come in, but, Problem with sea fishing, if you had a float, is the weights and the current of the water. But you know, I'm only going for a UK based fishing experience. This water doesn't look like it's um, got a strong current and such and fighting with this fish because it is still taking very careful crank the tension up now I'm breathing as much as I can and it's still wanting to swim off in the opposite direction as you would if you had a hook in your mouth and you knew what was happening not that they remember obviously but at, at the time it must be an ordeal for them the fish As you can see, the night is creeping in. Something I like about fishing games as well. I'm blessed where I live. I can open the double doors at the back and uh, listen to nature. I'm not in the biggest built up area in the world or anything like that. And I can just listen to the birds, the wildlife. I'm actually fairly close to a, a nature park, if you like. Sort of local area, but it's got deer and stuff like that. So it's nice to hear um, sort of nature. And as we've done all this lockdown business, and we're slowly coming out of lockdown in the UK, um, something I've noticed is nature. It's been so quiet, you, you and you hear nature, and you see nature coming up a bit more to areas that they wouldn't necessarily go. I mean, we've had um, mount jacks, which are like small deer, right outside the front of our house, on the green outside the front of our house. Which has been amazing. And fishing games, they have such a calming effect. Certainly, um, with the sound of the crickets and the nature, you hear the birds, the laps of the waves coming in, and stuff like that. It, it, it is a, a zen like feel. And like I say, I could, it gives you a nice, relaxed approach, and that's why I don't mind playing these games. With that. Certainly, first thing in the morning, if I wanted to go to sleep, I would stick this game on because I would be asleep. I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't play this in the evening, I need something a bit more far. Faster, faster paced. Um, in, in that sense, in fact, I've been playing the, the new Terminator game, Terminator Resistance. Um, always fancy that, and it's been on sale recently, so I thought I'd pick that up. And it provides a, a, you know, a different change of pace, a much different taste of pace. Change of pace, if, if you know what I mean. So if you want to fall asleep in the evening, put this game on. Uh, I think the uh, sounds alone will, will help, but it's not a game that's going to keep you awake. I, I don't think so. You know, uh, I know for, for a fact if I, fit, if I played this, unless I streamed it, I would be dropping off quite quickly in the evening. That's no disrespect to the game, it's just because of the feel of the game. It is a slow-paced game. 
it is the zen sort of feel it's the fishing trip would be like you go to have you know you go for the relaxation so it's a perfect game to unwind in that sense but for me it's a perfect game in the morning just to wake up to just to have your coffee just to slowly wake up before you know before the day really starts I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll finish reeling this fish in. and then if I maybe show Anyone new to this game? Let's see. A little thumb of my. Thank you. No idea what's going on there. <laughs> okay, a slight little mishap there, but what we'll do is I'll pay it for there. I'll quickly show the customization areas. So this would be quickly it would normally be on the main thing your fishing the fishing areas where you can go to, but when you're actually at a fishing area it will give you a little um idea of what the game's about on the right. Um tells you how many it's you've caught and this but it also gives you an idea of what the fishing species are in there. Um not quite sure on the time frame. I've not been awake. It's certainly been longer than three minutes ten, which I don't think. I think that's trying to say three hours ten. Maybe that's a total of the whole time. Yeah, that's probably what it is the whole time I spent at this individual area. It's three hours ten minutes, and I've caught twenty three fish. But this is where you can fish your locations on the edge. You can go right, left, right. You can go there where you start. Here is your tackle box, but it's an area we can buy as well. So shopping basket is your buy. So you've got your rods. So you can do spinning, casting, feeder, or fly fishing. Um, there are plenty of different fishing rods to buy if you look at the levels well that's level nine the government price but if you look at the durability as well it gives you an idea how much the, the rod can really take and then the length of the rod itself i mean spinning right here as well so nothing you find nothing really costs too much in this game stupid um, prices that you can't actually afford at times. Then you go to your reels, so you have your spinning, casting, bottom, and five reels again. The customization on this game is good. Plenty to do, and if you click on them, they'll tell you the durability, the um, drag presets as well so that one has seven that one has nine but if you go right to the top you find that they only have I think, three to start off with the first one yeah and it has three out of ten so that's that i mean the line is the line I mean, different type of line fly specialist fly stuff and that and then you've got your floats again plenty of floats and each with different weights so in some respects maybe I could go to higher weight on the sea fishing put a float down and that because it's a bit more weighty but I still don't understand the idea of float fishing on on sea fishing, but 
Even I can learn one or two things, I suppose. Um, there's your hooks. Um, you did tell you the size of your hooks, so you need to learn that quickly, the size of hooks that the bigger the number, the smaller the hook is. Even I get confused sometimes, especially when you go from um, you start down the, the numbers. For instance, this one, it starts size 12, then you come down to 8, and then you start going to 2.0 and 2.3, but it, it climbs it the other way. So it's like, ah. but it's, So even I get confused by that, but then I don't really go fish, fishing in real life for that sort of size fish. So don't pay too much attention. You've got your feeders. I mean, you've got your lures. Yeah. Show me the lures where they've gone. Here, yeah, so spoons. So you've got your spoons. You've got your spinners. Your wobblers. You've got soft bait ones. And then you've got your fly fishing ones. Feeders. So, this isn't a feeder, this is your typical but, um, weight for sea fishing. Um, I don't know why they said it's uh, uh, in the feeder, it's just painted weight. And then you've got all cages that let out, you stuff them with feeder and it lets it out over sort of little time of units, which should be perfect for freshwater fishing, if you like, and stuff like that. Um, then you've got your feeder baits, so you've got what I like to call little boilies and bits and pieces like that. Um, not quite sure if there is something that works for sea fish. Apparently, these work for sea fish, and so maybe we should have one attached at some point. And then you come down to other, which is your ground baits, which is freshwater fishing. Got the rod pods, which are basically um, rod rests, um, you can have multiple rods in one go, something I haven't done yet, um, not any quick sort of thing to do that, experience that yet, experienced it in a different game, fishing planet, and actually wasn't so keen preferred the idea of just a one rod but that's just me it's not going to be for everyone then you've got your your other other which is um the weights so if you have a different tension on the line different bits floats that they need balancing out need a bit more weight fishing net you don't have that to start off with but once you start catching bigger fish you'll find that you need it um, you can actually do Turn it to auto net if you want to in settings. I prefer the feel of a just a general guide. You can grab the net up, but then I did have that problem just a minute ago, which wasn't me. It was a game, so probably a glitch. But first time I've experienced it. So the other thing I haven't shown you is this. It's an arbor. And it's for cutting a little section in ice and then chucking your rod down there so you can go ice fishing if you like I like to get to do that yet because I've been in eagerness to really want to get out and get the sea fishing done That's the reason I wanted the game in the first place but I'm going to do that and then you've got your bite indicators in as well, which is just a standard bell or more of an electronic alarm so that's that. This is your skills. So it's an overall look of what where we are on the on me or your you if it's you. Now you've got experience, so I'm very close to the next level. Next level will give me a skill point. And then I'll be able to unlock an extra thing. Not too much going on here, but um the thing of having being able to use boats and the um, cast being a bit stronger 
will help. Um, the fact that you can get an extra 10% experience points if you've unlocked this, you know, so the fish you catch carry a little bit more worth. Stuff like that. And then there's this, which is the encyclopedia, so to give you an idea of the fish. It will tell you um, best conditions and best lures. It will also tell you how much you've got you've caught. So, rainbow trout, I have caught six rainbow trout, four cutthroat, nine bull trout, and eight brook trout. But this is right at the start of the game, these, these fish. You'll notice that I now start going up. Maybe not that one anyway, it says it's striped bass. I've caught quite a few. Um, blue crappies, channel catfish, a few as well. Milk carp. So I've caught a, a huge variety of fish. I'm going to be it to catch a pike. Um, and then we go up, but you'll notice that I've kind of not bothered this bit because I've gone straight for sea fishing because that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I haven't fished one or two areas in between. I kind of thought I'd save my money and the next time I'll get anywhere it'll be for spent on the areas for fishing at, the, you know, at, at sea. So that's just what I wanted to but these do give you a detailed view of what um, the fish is about. And, and the best time to go fishing and stuff like that. Uh, then we've got your settings. So you turn music off, I suggest you do that. It's very annoying very quickly. You can have your different tensions on your rod, so you can go with a, a full circle, the tension of your rod, or a half circle, but I, I prefer the standard bar system in the middle, just easier. You can zoom your float size in if you want. And then there's the help, which is um, basically what we should all about the little tutorial, all about the different areas and what to do. So float fishing, with that uh, spinning bottom fishing doesn't tell you the bit about sea fishing but I, I suppose it's bottom fishing isn't it sea fishing but So then if you come out, which is what I'm doing now. It took me a while to figure out how to exit your staff really because this one's right in corner. <laughs> and then there's just one more quick element to show anyone that watches this. And that is an extra icon here, which is the trophy room. A nice little feature, but uh, unless it grows, it's a, a little pointless in some ways. So, can't, I mean, I can't sit down at the fireplace. Not that I would really want to, but I can't. And you've got your plaques on your wall of your best fish. But I've said to a friend that is it, that has seen this as well. So much better if you could unlock items of furniture and rearrange your ideal fishing pad if you like. This sort little of lake cabin if you like or so you get the gist of an area that you add to rather than the only thing that you're really adding to are the uh, plaques on the wall. So 
trophy room. There is another room which I discovered the other day, but I don't even think I've got a flag in here. Which will show you that it's a, kind of like an empty room. And I do wish that, I, like I say, you could do stuff with the furniture, move it around, rearrange it, or, or something like that, but it's not needed. But as soon as they put it in the game, then why not, eh? But that is that. So press start to exit that. And again, just to anyone that is new to the game, these are the fishing areas. That's your first lake, Betty Lake. Um, you only really catch trout in there. But it comes with your basic rod. And that's good to start off with. Then your Betty Lake at winter. This is what I say about the ice fishing. I actually haven't done it yet. And I assume that you can drill a hole in the, in the frozen lake and sort of catch fish that way. But again, it's for trout. And that's where, you, if you haven't been to an area, you have to buy the license. It's never very much money to start off with anyway. But this is Powell Lake. This is your first experience where you can go on a boat. Um, boat don't cost anything, you just have to have the skill point that enables you to have go in a boat. And there's a f f different variety of fish here. So you've got some bass, you've got your crappie, you've got your bluegill, and you've got a channel catfish. And some of the fish in this lake are fairly big, so once you get going in this lake, you can really up the levels quite quickly. So Zeno's Lake, this is a lake that's part of the update recently, give, gave better visuals on this lake, and you can clearly see that it's a little bit better visually on this game, in this area anyway. And then you've got your grass carp and your mirror carp and crucian carp and chub, bream, pike, perch, and more catfish. But this area has, it, it, notice the way it says lakes. I think it has four different lakes you can fish at, and each lake has different stuff in. So this is Bacow Lake. I, again, I haven't got the license, so I haven't been here yet. So, pike and perch are a, a white fish. So perhaps I should go there at some point. But let's say I'll try it. You'll, you'll see in a bit why I'm trying to save my money. Um, and then you've got the winter version of that lake. I've been here. Um, it's not a bad area. You, you don't have to go on the on the little boat if you if you don't want to. Just fish from the side. But it's a nice little area. Not been here yet. So need to do that. But this is supposed to be fly fishing. Um, sort of paradise if you like. So it'd be interesting to try that area. But notice the um, starting to increase in price now. And you'll see why I don't want to go there. So this is Pinus Bay. This is where I was playing my fish. So it's some um, sea fishing, if you like. But this is the extra part of Pinus Bay, which is the ocean, to so take your boat out in deep sea sort of fishing. On that, again, strangely, float fishing works. Don't get that. A little bit strange for me why float fishing works out at sea. But then I suppose if if you're only knocking it and the sea's fairly calm and you're only chucking it out sort of 20 yards or whatever, then you can see the float in real life, I suppose. But it seems a bit strange for me. I mean, this is a lake that I want to fish at, just basically on the, the variety of fish, but not been here yet. <laughs> but it's the winter, so I can't go here yet because it needs to be a level 11. Um, well, I can I can go there on this one, but if I wanted the winter winter version, it's level eleven. Next thing is the dam, where there are lots of 
pigeon species here. So a few achievements as well to be had there if you go on the basis that each individual fish is worth an achievement. So that's level 12. And then there's what I'm aiming for, which is Greenland. Um, so you can go shark fishing if you like at Greenland, but that's on the next stage, which is Greenland Sea, which is level four. I'm actually wanting to get to level 13. I, I'm not quite sure how much it's going to cost. I assume it's going to cost quite a bit. In terms of the... That one cost 1,400, so if I'm having a guess that maybe Greenland's going to cost nearly, nearly 2,000 mark, and I've only got 1,800 at the moment. I'm not too far away from level 13, so I'm nearly at level 11. So, so my eagerness is to get to here, so I'm kind of avoiding lakes now to go. But once I get here, I'll go back, because it's just the way I'm playing the game. I, I don't... I like going on a fishing adventure first thing in the morning and that side, sort of thing. It's just, but I am in a hurry to get to Greenland because it's why I you know, got hold of the game in the first place. I could have just stayed with Fishing Planet in terms of lakes and bits and pieces, but this is a nice experience. I will say that for sure. I'll be fishing simulator. So I shall see you later. Ta-da.